Hi all, Hal here, and as you can see, we are once more in Imperion. And we're not just doing anything in Imperion, we are taking part once again in the Imperion Iron Man Challenge, uh, also known as the uh, Iron Survivalist. So, this time around, we are actually going to be joined by Captain Adonis, Truth Seeker 22, Lift Pizza, myself, obviously, Xanthan Gamer, CL Mech, Grandpa's Gaming, PJ Dog 10 Mom, Inverted Cow Plays, Virus, and I'm I'm going to apologize in advance because I know I'm going to butcher this one. <laughs> Shay Quira, Kira. I'm not sure how to say that. I apologize. No offense intended, but so I, I'll find out as the series goes on exactly how to pronounce that name. <laughs> As always, links to all of the other participants are going to be down in the uh, description below. And the first week's challenge was to land on Omicron. The rest of this video is going to show you exactly what the game settings are, um, how we got down here, and how we established our base. And, well, I will say I am here, I am alive, I have not yet died. And uh, yeah, so good luck to the other participants and hope everyone has fun. And with that, let us get the show started. <laughs> Hal here with more Imperion, and today we're starting the Iron Survival Challenge. Yay! For those who don't know, I, I took part in this competition a, a couple of seasons ago. This is the fifth season, I believe. And so it's been a few seasons, but we are now in Alpha 7, so all of the new changes are in. So we've got the new mining, new the weapons rebalance, and all of that wonderful stuff. For those who don't know what Iron Survivalist is, also known as the Imperion Iron Man, uh, basically, last person standing wins. Uh, you can die from anything, and if you do die from anything, this is a hardcore death scenario, so when you are done, if you die, you are done. It doesn't matter if it's because of you doing something silly, because you died from drone raid, whatever. Now, if there are some exceptions to this. If you happen to die because of a, a, a known game glitch, uh, like you spawn in and suddenly you're catapulted 200 meters in the air and you know you don't have jetpacks so you can't stop, or something like that. Uh, those types of things will be taken on a one-on-one, case-by-case -on -one, -case basis, and the folks that are still in the game will vote on you know, whether or not it, it, you get a retry on that. Things like enemy POI cannot be raided or attacked if they are not part of the challenge for that week. So if you're out and about, you can attack roving targets, but you cannot attack POIs that have hostile spawners in them. Now with 7.0, some of the things that used to be neutral now have hostile spawners in them, so they are technically hostile bases. So we're not going to be able to raid those either. Um, we're also going to do, like I said, we're going to have a weekly mission. The name and location will be given out on to us on Wednesday, and we have one week in order to post the uh, our footage. During the time we're in, we're going to be showing our kill screen, which basically shows how many times we ourselves have died. And I'll get into that once we get into the game. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, and we can't leave the starting system. Now, with the changes in rebalance, this is going to be a lot harder than it has been in the past, so this should be um, pretty interesting. For those who want to try playing along at home, we are using seed 20170111. For those who may not notice it right away, that is today's date, November 1st, 2017. <laughs> all right, so all of that said, we're going to go ahead and get started. And what we're going to do is we are going to drop in. First thing we need to do is this week's challenge, and it's always the same. The first challenge of, the, of it is just landing and surviving <laughs> for the first day. Basically, all we have to do is touch down on the ground, and we're done with the challenge. Now, with my luck, we're going to have a fortress next to us when we spawn. <laughs> that actually has happened to me before. 
Oh, okay. Now, because this is Omicron, uh, we are going to have an issue with atmosphere because we are going to need to find oxygen. And that looks like that is a neutral POI over that away. So what we're going to do is let's get us let's get ourselves in a slightly better situation here so we're not running quite so far. <laughs> this is going to be rough. Okay, so we're going to make a run for the wood cabin. Let's make sure we are good. Yes. Right. I still say we should be able to take those things apart for materials, but you know what? It's all good, right? So we're going to go ahead and let's get these things set up. We're going to reload that while we're running. So technically, we have achieved this week's challenge. So it's that's a good way to start. Now, what we will be doing... Man, I hate the Omicron start because if they still have the system patrol craft, I always have this really bad luck with the system patrol craft coming over the wood cabin where, wherever it is. And it'll be like, I'll be out and about hunting, I'll come back, and it'll be gone. Uh, so, we are going to need to secure resources quickly. Um, talking to a few of the folks that are in the challenge already, and they have already said that, yeah, resources are really slim on this one. So it should be interesting. Oh, all right. So we have 50 bullets. We don't even have enough to kill anything right now. Now, some of the changes that they've done to Imperion, if you didn't see some of the other videos that I've done on the 7.0 update, uh, what they have done is they've actually changed up a lot of things. So things that used to require um, magnesium early on now use Promethean as their uh, supply system. And we want to grab this stuff. Okay, and we can do this from here. We're just going to go ahead and fill all. Let's turn base on. Why did that sound? That didn't sound good. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the food put away. We're going to go ahead and just drop all of our food except for our emergency rations. So Ilion gave us this nice thing for their anniversary. Happy anniversary, Ilion. Congratulations. Many more. All right. So we have emergency O2, we have emergency constructor. Let's go ahead and get these things placed. <sighs> All right, so I should have, yeah. And we are going to grab that. There is usually a store, a normal car, normal cargo container around here, but it doesn't look like we got it this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the O2 and we want you working as quickly as possible. We want you quick working as quickly as possible. Make sure everything is good. We have no energy items. Oh crap. That's bad. Okay. We need to find Promethean and we need to find it now. Ah. And we found nothing on the way in. Right. So let's go ahead and make our way here. We're going to place a flag there. We're going to say approach. We're making a waypoint so we can find it easily. And hopefully we will find Promethean on the way. Because we have no materials. <laughs> ah, crap. We don't have the. <laughs> we didn't bring the fuel with us. Hold on. Quick. Did I drop? Did I really drop the biofuel off? I did. Look at you. Alright. Didn't I reload this already? Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to start looking for uh, Promethean. Uh, okay, so I think what we'll do is because this is basically going to be me wandering around for a while. I'm going to do a quick cut right here just to show everybody. When you press and hold B, it'll tell you what level you are, how many kills, how many deaths. 
As you can see, I am level one, zero kills, zero deaths. Um, everything else is going to be me needing to find a way to survive. Right. And this is probably going to be somewhat painful. All right. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a quick cut and we will be right back. All right, and we're back. As you can see, I didn't get too far in, uh, but we did find some Prometheans, so we're going to head that way immediately. Hopefully, we are not going to find anything hostile in the area. And we're going to try and mine out as much of that as possible. You know, I just realized, I don't think they gave us... Oh, man. They don't, the medium start doesn't give you the... Uh, the goggles you need in order to see the ore. So one of the changes that they've made, and it's one that I don't agree with, is they've removed the voxel-based ore system. And this is part of the reason why I don't agree with it. Because now what will happen is, is when I get over here, I'm going to need to find the ore nuggets. And yes, that is exactly what I said. They put in 3D... Um, ore chunks now and yeah it's it's no fun I, I don't know why they made this change I'm hoping that they get rid of it or give us the option to uh, use it if we want to later on but uh, uh, for now We start digging. If I'm really, really lucky, I will find one of these things by sheer chance. Yeah, this should be interesting. I have to admit, this one change is one reason why I almost didn't do this challenge this time. But. I had people ask me to, to do it, so we're going to do it. Now what we're looking for is we are looking for um, will basically be a blue nugget. You know, it'll look like a piece of stone with little blue crystals in it. So... Yeah, this is this is going to be annoying. Okay. See, it used to be that you'd go to the area that they told you that was in, and you would just dig, and there it, there it would be underground, right? Nope, not anymore. All the marker tells you is that it's the center of the the area that the spawn that the nodes are spawning in. Now, you do get more ore when you hit it. But the fact is, is that you don't know where they are. So they could all be up near the surface, or they could be down below me further. So now we get to go through the fun part of trying to find it. So let's see what we find. So there should be something here. But normally what would happen is, is when you spawn, you get these goggles that will show you where things are underground. And we didn't start with, oh, there we go. There's a piece right there, see? Okay, so we picked up 10 Promethean from that. Not nearly enough to get anything done. <laughs> but now, the nice thing is, is that when you find one, you generally find more. So let's see if we can find... Hopefully find some more in the immediate area. Because they will usually be um, kind of clustered together. Oh, 
what really sucks is that we're not even getting stone off of this, so... Alright. So we keep mining. <sighs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another quick cut. I'm gonna keep mining this stuff out, see if we can find some more of the Promethean Nuggets that may be here. Um, and I will bring you back when I am either out of fuel and dead at the bottom of the pit, or uh, we are done mining some of this stuff out, so... <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back. So, yeah, um... <laughs> used half of the fuel so far, and I was only able to pull out 10 units of Promethean, so, um... Yeah, this is gonna be rough. So that should be enough power to at least keep my, uh my fuel going for a little while or at least my O2 going uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go drop all of this into the survival constructor, convert it over into fuel packs, put all of it but say two into the uh, into the fuel system for the O2 because we that is our big push as you can see we are not really this is about the closest place that we're going to find water on the planet so what we need to do is get an O2 generator over here as fast as possible. And we really need to find the ore goggles. The ore goggles are what are going to save us at some point. Uh, but for our now, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and run this stuff home. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. So good luck to the other contestants in the Iron Survival Challenge, and we will see you all back here next time. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Be sure to pay a visit to the folks that are listed down in the description below. We'll have links to everybody who's participating. Uh, we will be updating that on a weekly basis as we find out who the survivors are at the end of each challenge. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure, you, like I said, hit that like button. Go, fo go follow, you know, follow not just our channel, but the other channels as well. Share the love around. Tell them Hal sent you. And on that note, we're out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Have a terrific week, and we will see you back here next time for more Imperion. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs>